Hey everybody, TGIF, happy Friday. It is the last Friday before Christmas. Let's see, it's telling me that I need to do something. Hmm, am I sideways? I feel like maybe I'm sideways, you guys. Let's see, do I need to rotate? No, it looks right. <laughs> I have a message that's not a cross, but it's like this, like sticking up. I don't know what that's about, but I think we're okay. I don't think I'm sideways. Anyhow, happy Friday, you guys. It's day 12, the very last day in my 12 days of Facebook Lives, Facebook Live, Christmas Facebook Lives. I'm glad it's day 12. <laughs> I'm tired. I am tired. But how exciting, how fun it is to have all these projects that we've done together over the last about three weeks. Um, it's been fun. Uh, so today we're doing delivering cheer. This has no dies. So guess what? We're going to be doing some fussy cutting today. Hopefully you guys don't mind. And I'm going to show you, we're going to use new designer series paper from the spring catalog. All right. Um, before we get started, let's see. I don't really have anything to tell you other than the last chance list, you know, still there. I am sideways. Somebody said I'm sideways. Oh, wait a minute. Now it just flipped. Uh Oh, hold on. What happened? Did it go sideways on y'all's end? Let's see if I can turn it and see what it does. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It totally went sideways. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Let's see if I turn it this way. Hmm. Something very strange is happening, you guys. We may have to start over. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see what happens. Huh. Okay, it looks fine on my iPad. So I'm going to leave it. But on my phone, it looks really weird. Let me see. Okay, let me get it all situated. That is bizarre. That really freaked me out. <laughs> it's like really weird. Okay, let me see if I can get you guys situated. All right, you look right. You look okay. Did you guys see this over here in the corner? I have some goodies to show you. I got some things in the mail. Let me show you. Um, this is really cute. This is, um, it came in a box actually from Brenda. Look, it had earrings in it. How cute. It came in a box. Um, those are cute. Brenda, did you make those? Those are adorable. Thank you. That's so sweet. And look, the classic cloche with the sweets and treats. Gotta love it. All right. And then this gorgeous card, I believe it's from Janelle. Let me see. Janelle. Yes. Look how gorgeous the card, the envelope is. Beautiful. All that gold. Lovely. Very lovely. Thank you, Janelle. And then here's one. This is a slimline card is what they they call it, right? Um, from Marnie, I believe. Yes, Marnie. Look how cute. This, this long um, size is real trendy right now. And we actually have dies coming in a new catalog that is for the long and skinny card. The long and skinny slimline card. This card, uh, you know what's so funny is I just opened this today. And it uses what we used yesterday, Michelle. This is an absolutely gorgeous card. Isn't that gorgeous? She went with pinks and greens too. Something about this, this stamp set um, lends itself to pinks and greens for some reason. I don't know, but she did lots of beautiful layers. Very pretty. Thank you, Michelle. Um, two more, two more. Let's see. This one is from, let's see, it has a last name on it. I have to open it to see the first name. Maria, right? Maria. Yeah, look, all silver. And she got all of that before it retired. Nice. All of it's gone. All of it's sold out, the paper and the dies. Very, very pretty. I like that little bow there. That's cute. Thank you. All right. And here's one more. I absolutely love this. This features the gingerbread, um, peppermint and gingerbread die. Uh, not dies, sorry. The Memories and More cards that sold out. That little, um, what do you call that? Cookie cooling rack is just the cutest. That's a really simple card too. She used the, the Memories and More card bases. You know, if you guys are looking for simple, make sure you always look at those Memory and More things. They have really good, um, easy, you know, alternatives so you don't have to do lots and lots of layers. So very cool. Thank you guys. Very nice of you to think of me, to send me some things. 
All right, now, let's see, do I have anything else? Oh yes, I do. So remember I was giving you guys the order of everybody who orders between, when was it, Tuesday and Christmas would get this. And I had 25 of them, but now I only have two left. So the next two people who order with me are going to get these and then I'm out. So I would assume within the next hour or two, I would be out of these. However, I still have more things to give you. So after that, I still have this bedazzle paper. I don't know if it's the bedazzle paper that you guys are wanting so much, um, but I still have a, a bunch more. So for everybody, once these are gone, and I will let you guys know on Facebook, once these are all gone, the first 25 people put orders in are gonna get this. We have two left. Then after that, same host code, I'll, I'll send you still a pack of cards, handmade cards, 10 with the envelopes, a pack of that bedazzle paper that was from Celebration, and I have these. I sent these to my Club Create people back in the summer, and it's my tear and tape that I love so much with the pink buckaroo on it. Okay, so that'll be the other gift between now and Christmas. <laughs> if you want to put an order in, I would love to send you that as a thank you. Has to be $50 or more and has to use that host code. All right, if you don't use the host code, I just assume you don't want the gift. Okay, that is it. I'm going to show you door prizes and then we're going to get started. Let me clean up just a little bit. I really wish I could zoom in a little bit, but I am afraid to touch my phone because it's doing some super weird things. Of course it would on the last day, right? Day 12. Um, let's see. Oh, Tina. She says, I, speaking of cooling racks, I pulled mine out of the cupboard to dry some oranges. It caught my pizza stone, which rolled on the cupboard and landed right on my toe. So cooling racks are my enemy. Well, Tina, did your stone break? That's the question. Who cares about your toe? Did, you, did your pizza stone break? That happened to me. That exact thing happened to me last week, except it was my Pampered Chef baker. You know, they have those bakers and it was perfectly seasoned. It has a glaze on the outside, so it was expensive. Fell out when I was pulling something out, cracked on the tile floor and I went to order it and they don't have it anymore. I'm very sad. Those stones, man, once you get those seasoned, when they... When they break, it's like heartbreak city for sure. Hopefully your toe is okay too. <laughs> I'm always like, who cares about my toe? I'm worried about my stone. Anyhow, today's prize winner is Kim Barrera. Kim is getting the Mary Snowflakes bundle. Um, Kim, I have your mailing address. Thank you for, fi for filling out the form. There is a prize form there on my blog. You can click over at Pink Buckaroo. Um, <laughs> Your husband thanked you for saving the kitchen floor. That's hilarious. Um, you can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com down towards the end. There is a link to enter for one more prize, which will be, I have another sparkle of the season bundle. So I will give that away. Um, maybe I'll pick a name sometime next week, probably. I'm going to take next week off. I will be probably popping in here um, just for fun and to do some cleaning, because let me tell you, I need to do some cleaning in here, some organizing, but I'm not gonna be doing any official work next week. But um, sometime in the next two weeks, I'll try to do it next week, but it'll most likely be the week after, I'll pick a winner for this. So you have some time to enter to win the very last prize of the 12 weeks, 12 weeks, 12 days of Christmas. Okay, we are ready to stamp. Now, I just wanna review, you guys, look. Here's my box. The, the things don't even fit in here anymore. These are all the things we've made over the last 12 days. If you haven't, if you haven't joined us, I know you guys are busy. You may not be able to watch every day. I get it. Um, all the recordings are on my blog. I said that yesterday, but the Arctic Bears, apparently I had uploaded it and never finished it. I never like pushed go live on that recording. So it wasn't there, but now all of them should be on each post at the bottom. I, I will upload or I have uploaded the recordings. Um, today's I will do the same. So um, over the next, I don't know, forever, whenever you want to come back and find some Christmas inspiration, those posts um, and my YouTube page will have the recordings of all of these projects. Okay. All right. So today we've got two last projects and I have to tell you that my, my gas tank was empty, right? My gas tank was empty. I had a really hard time 
Um, I came up with our first project, no problem. And then I could not come up with anything for the second project. I was dragging my feet. I tried several times. I couldn't come up with anything. I finally came up with something yesterday afternoon. It was just meh. It was okay. I didn't really like it. Wasn't a huge fan. But it was going to have to do because it was yesterday and this is today. So, but then this morning, my alarm went off at the early morning 5 a.m. time. <laughs> and I mean, it's so weird. Suddenly an idea popped in my head for something else. So I got in here as soon as I sent my daughter off to basketball and came up with a second project. I usually, I'm the kind of person that panics under pressure and that's why I plan way ahead. But for some reason this morning that popped in my head, last minute, got it done. And I, I like it much better than the other project I had come up with yesterday, which was pretty last minute. Anyhow, that's just a little, just a little story for you to let you know how this has all come about today. Okay. So delivering cheer. This is a really, really cute stamp set. It's a builder stamp set. We're going to use the Stamparatus to put it together. Um, I have made a few cards. I don't know where the other one is. I had a fall card. Hmm, it's not up there. I don't know where it is. And it was really cute. I did those. When we oh, wait, here it is. Let me grab it. I meant to pull this down earlier. Or I meant to find it earlier. Um, I did these way in the beginning, like in August, when we got the stamp set. Um, and they are on my blog if you want to go back and look at them. Really cute. Um, and so today, you can see I was fresh out of ideas. So I cased myself. Don't ever be afraid to case yourself, you guys. Um, sometimes um, when I really can't come up with an idea, I go back and I find my old projects and I case them. So don't ever be afraid to do that case yourself, especially when you have a card that you really liked. You can always copy that layout. Okay, so that's what I did here. But to give us a little more, I mean, you know, a little more something, something today, I decided to pull in some new paper. And this new paper, oh, hold on, let me pull this out right here so I don't mess it up. This new paper is called Abstract Beauty, and it comes in this little pack. It's four by six, so it's perfect for card makers. Um, it's really pretty. It's kind of, I don't know, it's soft and subtle, but it also has some bold colors, has polished pink, and it has gold. Um, I think every piece on one side has some gold embossing on the paper. So that's what I decided to use. I pulled out the golds to really kind of make this. In my mind, it was a Christmas card, but really, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a Christmas card, right? It's pinks. It could be either. So you could use it for a Christmas card or a birthday card. I didn't stamp a sentiment, but we're going to stamp the sentiment on the inside. All right, so the first thing let's do is stamp our girl. And there are two sets of feet and three sets of upper body. So two sets of lower body, three sets of upper body, and you can mix and match. But what I have found is that this one right here, I don't feel like it goes very well. I wanted to use these two together, but this really needs that dip right there, I think, unless you do some masking. Um, so we're gonna use the gifts with a little fancy skirt and the Christmas tree with what looks like rain boots and maybe a, a rain jacket. Um, so first we're gonna do, this is called paper piecing. When you stamp the image on patterned paper and then cut out um, pieces of it and piece it together on your original stamped image. So that's what we're gonna do. Of course, I'm gonna use my Stamparatus. And let's see, we're going to use you in a little while. Right now, we're going to use the fancy legs. That's what I call them. The fancy legs, which actually I have on a block right here. Okay, my paper is a little bit messed up. All right, I've got just basic white. I use my magnets and we'll stamp the fancy skirt. This looks to me like a skirt from like the 50s, doesn't it? like a 50s skirt. We're gonna stamp it in memento black. On our basic white. Okay, and while we have that there, we're gonna stamp it on this cute little floral image paper as well. Okay. 
There we go. Now we'll take that off and we will get the presents. And I'm gonna line them up. I'm gonna have to pull this down so I can see it. I'm gonna get right on top of it and put it exactly where I want it. Okay, that helps you line it up so you don't have to worry about it. The only problem is what it's doing right now is the photopolymer is sticky, so it pulls the paper up sometimes. So just put something in there, hold your paper down. If your stamps are really clean or new, they will pick up that, that paper. All right, so there we go. Now, let's see, we're gonna stamp it, the presents, we're gonna stamp them on this paper as well. Okay. We're gonna stamp, oh, we're gonna stamp them on the little dotted pink paper. I'm just doing this on my Stamparatus so that I don't have to take it off. You don't really need your Stamparatus for this part. We're gonna stamp it. Did we use this one? We did. I'm gonna stamp it on that. I know one of them, I think I have to use both sides. Okay. Um, we need the, was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. All right, so then let's do that. Let me cut just that out so we know that we're not gonna stamp on top of it. Okay, we'll stamp on this one right there okay all right so did i get the green i don't think i got the green so we need to do this one back here i wanted all the presents to be different patterns and i think we have enough i think we got them all okay so now let's take this out and we're gonna just cut out, let's start with the skirt because the skirt is the cutest part, I think. You want to just stay right on the line. Usually I say, you know, give it a bubble around, but this time we just kind of want to stay as close to that black line as possible. Okay, go all the way around. And I don't think that these are real hard to cut out. I think they're pretty easy. If you don't wanna do all this fussy cutting, then get your Stampin' Blends or your watercolor markers. I'm um, not watercolor markers, your watercolor pencils, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna cut out. Now, one thing I had to do, see her hands right here? That's really tricky. So I just left her hands kind of on that paper right there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do to stay even with the line and I'm just going to kind of cut off her hands and they're going to stay on that present. That sounds weird. I don't know if you guys can hear my washing machine. I have my daughter washed a shirt, her favorite shirt, and when it came out of the dryer, it had something all over it. Don't you hate when that happens? It was on several things in her laundry, so I don't know what was in her laundry, but it all got dried with this weird kind of brownish splatter. Ugh. So I have been trying to get it out, trying, 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 trying to get it out. The problem with the shirt is it's a t-shirt and it's her favorite. It's the only reason why I'm working so hard on it. Um, Half of it is white. It literally had like Pepper's face. It has a line down the middle. One half is white. One half is black. And then it has like the MTV logo in the middle. Remember MTV? Um, and so on the white side, it's got these weird splotches. So I can't, I couldn't bleach it because it has the black side. So I've been, I've tried vinegar, soaking it, oxyclean. I mean, a thousand things. I've probably watched it 10 times. So finally, I said to her, look, I can try bleach on this one side with my bleach pen, but I can't guarantee you that the, it's not gonna get bleach on the black side. And it, she was like, fine, because she's not gonna wear it because you know the little stains, she was like, no way. And it's on the back too, but whatever. So I got, 
I went to buy a bleach pen and apparently, you guys remember bleach pens? They don't make them anymore. Couldn't find them, looked it up. They quit making them in 2018. That's the last time apparently I needed a bleach pen because it's been a long time. So I dug mine out, found it, old, used it, nothing happened. And I thought, that's weird. And I looked it up. Did you know that bleach pens have a shelf life of one year? Who knew? I wonder if regular bleach has a shelf life then of just one year. I'm telling you guys this story to ch just to tell you that if you need a bleach pen, there are recipes out there to make your own bleach pen. So that's what I did this morning. And I think I may have gotten the stains out. And I think I may have done it without bleaching the black side of her shirt. Now, the true test is when I take it out of the washing machine here in a little while. But I think we'll, we'll just have to see. I love those bleach pens. Obviously, I haven't needed it in a long time, but who knew they stopped making those? And the Tide pen is not the same. Tide pen's not the same. I don't know. But if you need that recipe, just Google it and you will find it. I'm sure there's more out there than, than the one that I found. But I hate, I hate bleach. I hate working with bleach. Do you guys feel like that? Ugh, I can't stand the way it smells. I'm like terrified. I'm going to mess thing, you know, bleach my clothes, bleach everything around. Ugh. All right, so I'm continuing to cut out the presents from all these different um, patterns of this beautiful paper. It's a little bit time consuming, but because we've stamped this on several patterns, you could actually cut all the presents apart piece them back together and probably come up with five or six different cards with just the stamped images that we've done because there are so many different ones. I will let you, Nidia, I will let you know how it turned out. Um, it was, it was really easy. You just take water and cornstarch and you boil it. It turns into that gel, let it cool off, put some bleach in there, put it on a squirt bottle and a, and you know, like a squeeze bottle. Totally so easy to do. But <laughs> the test will come. Did I, was I able to isolate? We know we had green somewhere. Was I able to isolate the black side? My husband said this morning, gosh, you're really determined to get that stain, those stains out. And I was like, I know, usually I could, I don't care. But she was like, it's my favorite shirt. <sighs> and you know, when you're in seventh grade and it's your favorite shirt, that's it, life's over. And there, I, I looked online and there's no more. They don't have it anymore. She's so picky about what she wears. And it's basically the same five things over and over again. <laughs> I mean, you know, so now she's like down to four. <sighs> okay, how does that look? Isn't that adorable? I'm going to add a few little details. I'm going to take my petal pink and I'm going to color those hands. Now, the reason why that worked with those hands is because that paper that her hands are on is is a white base pattern so we can just kind of continue that over now if you use a darker um pattern there you're going to need to be very good with your scissors and cut around that um that um those hands her little fancy high heel shoes i'm gonna color in the bow as well right here Okay, and then I'm going to color in this bow. This is just jade. You can always look on the back of your pattern paper packs and in the catalog, and it will tell you exactly what colors are in the paper. You don't even have to guess. It's listed there on the, the um, packs of paper. Okay, so now, as if we didn't cut, do enough fussy cutting already, Let's do some more. This time, I think it'll be fine if you just left a little cloud around the image. The last time, we didn't want it to really do that because, you know, we were trying to keep the, the pattern on the image. So this time, we're going around the outside of the image, and that's okay. Um, by the way, you guys, everybody who asked for crack corn recipe... I posted it on Facebook, on Facebook yesterday, as well as in 
the description of the Facebook Live yesterday. There's a link there, okay? Thank you all for sharing. I had no idea there were different brands of puff corn. I don't, I think two or three of you shared with me the kinds that you use. They're different. They're not Chester's. I don't think we have any of those here, but if you are looking and you want to make puff corn, go back and look in the comments. Um, several people shared what they can find in their areas. It was like a Dutch, Dutch Brothers or something, and then, well, I can't remember the other one, but someone said that she finds it at Aldi. We don't have Aldi here. Right? I don't, maybe we... There was something new coming. Was it an Aldi? We have H-E-B. H-E-B rules the world around here. All right, this is that gold stripe. I hate to use the back of this because it's gold on that side, um, but we're gonna do it anyway because we need a really simple pattern right here, a little black and white. I'm gonna put that right there. And we will grab dimensionals. Um, those of you who ordered the calendar class, um, I finished them up today. I printed the labels just five minutes ago before we went live. They will, most of them will go out tomorrow. The stamp sets that I ordered bef when they were on low inventory, I ordered them and I made them go on back order because they didn't fill my order. So we're waiting on the stamp sets to come. I talked to them this morning. They're expediting them, and I expect them here early next week. So my original ship date on that class was um, the 21st, I believe. So we're still within the time frame. It may ship a day or two later. Club Create will go out next week as well on the 21st. Those are ready. We're just waiting for um, one thing that needs to go into them. All right, so I cut down at that polka dot paper, which is just the cutest paper in the whole pack four by five and a fourth. This is one and a fourth by five and a half with a gold scalloped, um, stitched scalloped border using the brushed metallic cardstock. We matted our little um, image with basic black so it will really pop off. Put all that on the dimensionals. I didn't add any, that doesn't look straight there. I didn't add any, um, embellishments because I really don't think it needs an embellishment but I am going to stamp the sentiment on the inside you could add a bow or some gold dots War uh, what does it say warming thoughts to you this season although I'm not sure that's the right sentiment for this card hmm I don't know maybe not you decide whatever you're going to use it for what do you guys think that's a lot of that's a lot of cutting but I totally think it's worth it. And you know, you got to save all these scraps too, because you're going to use them for sure. All right. I hope you guys like that. I'm going to show you my next project, which we're going to use that gold stripe paper also, because I love it so much. I probably have none of it left now. We're going to need our Stamparatus again. For some reason, this popped in my mind this morning, and I don't know why. As soon as I woke up, this is the first thing that entered my mind. I have a huge box of candy and stuff that I bought for projects that hasn't gotten used. The girls have lovingly dug into it. And these pretzels were still in there. Remember we did these pretzels um, for Halloween? And I got these at Target. And I thought, let's, because the shape of the image, I felt like we needed something long. So I thought, let's make a box for those pretzels. And it's the same way. We did something like this for Halloween, remember? We put the little glasses in there. So that's what we're going to do. All right. I thought that turned out pretty cute. Okay, so let's make it. Now, the measurements are there on today's blog post. Remember, there's no PDF. It is um, just there under the photo. And you know what? <laughs> I'll show you guys what, what my measurements look like. I don't even have it written in a notebook. Look, here are my measurements. It took me a few tries this morning <laughs> at 5 a.m. All right, but I did type them out, so they should be there. You're gonna need two pieces of cardstock, real red. 
Um, one of them, basically, the top one is two and a fourth wide by one and a fourth. The bottom one is one and an eighth by two and an eighth. So it's just, this one's just an eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. So the smaller one, we'll start with the smaller one. Let's see if I can decipher my notes. Seven and a fourth by eight and a fourth. This is the box on the bottom, right? No, that's not right. Hold on, hold on. This is seven and a fourth by eight and a fourth. This is the box on the top. This is the smaller box that's gonna go on the top, okay? Um, so on the long side, on the eight and a fourth side, we're gonna score it at one and a fourth, three and a half, four and three fourths, and seven. Okay, and then you're gonna turn it and score it at one and a fourth on the short side, okay? Now the other piece, this is one, no, seven and five eighths by eight and an eighth, okay? The short side, we're gonna score the short side at one and eight. This is scaring me because <laughs> I can barely read my, my writing. One and an eighth, three and a fourth, four and three eighths. Place your wages now, whether these are all right. You have, you have 30 seconds left to put your bets in. Um, six and a half, and then one and an eighth. I'm pretty certain that's correct. It seems very weird but it's right. Now, I have already put one of them together. I'm just gonna put this other one together, the bottom one, okay? You wanna burnish all the lines. The thing, the thing that I did, of course, I it, again, it was like 5.30 a.m. when I was doing this. I did it really the hard way first, and we were gonna have to use 12 by 12 paper. And then I went for my morning walk, and I got back, and I thought, there's an easier way to do this, and then I fixed it so that we could use eight and a half by 11 paper. It's just very strange how my brain works. All right, so I'm gonna cut these apart down here at the bottom. Okay, cut the corners. Sometimes projects are really easy. Boom, 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 get done. Everything's perfect, everything's right. Then other times I can't I can't get what's in my brain out. I can't come up with an idea. I can't get the measurements right. You just never know. Just never know. All right, so on both pieces, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna cut that bottom apart on one side. Both of these are equal. I made them equal so that it will just be, you know, you don't have to worry about lining it up. As long as it's completely covered, then it's, then it's perfect. All right, so put your adhesive on that one where I cut the corners. See how I cut the corners? And then you can just fold this in half like that, and there's your box. Okay, fold in your sides, then fold in the back tab first, like that. Make sure it's nice and square, and fold in the front. Okay, so there's your bottom, the bottom of your box. Let me get my pretzels. And these pretzels, you know, last time I bought these from Sam's. These are from Target. And they have a lot more plastic on them. So I kind of laid down some of that plastic to make it not so crazy. That one's broken. All right, now put those in there. You're going to put the other piece together exactly the same. And Ta-da! All right. I hope you I hope you bet you put your bet in that I was gonna be right with my measurements. Because I was. I was. All that chicken scratch actually made sense today. All right, now so the the top part is a little bit bigger. You can tell that. And it's supposed to be so that it slides really easily. Um we're gonna cover up that seam right there so it doesn't look wonky. Here's that piece of DSP again. It's one and three fourths by five and three fourths. Okay. And let's do our little 
I've got all these little things here I don't want to lose because y'all y'all know I lose them. I lose all of them. Did I already lose one? I had three. There it is. We're going to get to that in a second. Um, now, my Stamparatus. Where did it go? It's right here. I've got another piece of basic white. And for some reason, my tree stamp doesn't stamp very well. Um, I don't know why. It just doesn't stamp really well. So um, I found that I definitely had to use my Stamparatus um, on this one. All right. I'm going to start with my tree. Okay. Let's put our tree right there. Pick that up and we're going to use, actually, we're going to use old olive. Did I not pull that out? Old olive ink up here. Okay. See? See what happens with mine? So that's why if you use your Stamparatus, you can fix it. Ta-da! You would never have known. I hadn't pointed it out. All right, now where did our little legs go? I picked them up. What did I do with them, guys? Did I put them back in here? I did not. Someone saw me. I picked them up. Where did they go? They're, they're right here. Okay. Now, this one, it has a little bit of a dip in it for that tree trunk. And I think this fits better than the fancy legs, as I like to call them. Let's see if I can. Okay, good. Now, to get the boots red, you can do two things. You can use masking tape. I'm not masking tape. Um, post-it tape or you can do like this and I'm going to show you guys this it's easier to do this with a clear block but because this is a clear stamp you can see exactly where you're inking your image do you guys see that my plate is kind of dirty so it makes it hard to see Okay, so we've got black and red, and let's see how it looks. Ta-da! It's like magic, like magic. All right, let me close this up. Actually, before we close that up, why don't we go ahead and stamp that sentiment so we don't have to open it up again. This is a stitched, rectangle and I'm going to put it the sentiment a little bit lower because she's going to be standing on it okay and now we're going to color her cute little I don't know is it a jacket is it a dress the bottom looks like a dress but I part of me thinks it's a like a rain jacket I'm going to use real red light and I'm using the brush tip. I always tell you guys I like the bullet end, but when I have a big area to cover, I like to use that brush tip. Now I'm also gonna come in here and color her arms in underneath that tree. We stamped this top image in Old Olive, but it's okay, okay, it, it works. All right, now for the dark, I'm, I am gonna use the bullet tip. I'm gonna add some dark underneath where her arm is overlapping and along the bottom and along each of her little pleats. And I'm gonna go around that uh, little trunk of her tree. Kind of blend it all together, okay? She's adorable. Now I'm gonna take my old olive light. And this tree doesn't have real hard defined lines. So, you know, don't worry too much about it because we're gonna cut around the edge of it. Anyway, 
And so you want your green to kind of go out a little bit more beyond the, the edges too. Okay. Get the dark old olive and just add in some dark. Add some kind of depth in there. Go back and blend it all together. Man, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I can't see any comments. Um, yes, Debbie, you do have to make sure that foam mat is under there. Um, for sure. Um, when you use a photopolymer on your Stamparatus, uh, you need to put that foam mat that comes with your Stamparatus under there. All right, now I'm using the ivory marker this time for her legs. And I think I'm going to leave her mittens white. I had to color them green. Don't look closely because I got messy and I did not like it at all. So I had to fill it in with some, some green. I was coloring too fast, but I think we'll leave them white today for this one. All right. A little more fussy cutting. A little more. Go all the way around. Um, those pretzels, I said, I think I said they were from Target, right? Um, I don't know if Sam's had them. They had them at Halloween and they were the cutest. But I haven't been to Halloween since before Thanksgiving. So I don't know if they have them. So now this tree, again, doesn't have any defined image. I mean, doesn't have a defined line on the outside. So see how I'm just kind of, I'm, whoops, whoa, almost cut the top of it off. So I'm just kind of, you know, giving it a wavy top like that. All right, our paper snips are sold out right now. I think they're supposed to be back January, I think. So if you've been needing paper snips, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, unfortunately. That's what these are, paper snips. We don't call them scissors, we call them paper snips. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. We're gonna take two dimensionals, put these down here like this, put our stitched, um, what is that called? Stitched rectangle right there. And then she's gonna be standing on those words like that. And I cut out a gold star using um, the Give It A Whirl dies. And then I used, um, there's a little tiny ornament die with the Christmas tree dies, which are sold out. So if you don't have them, just use, you can use little stars for the ornaments. You could use little circles. You could also just use rhinestones or the gilded gems which I'm going to use in a second on top would be fine as well okay last but not least oh no we gotta do the ribbon too oh I just sent a bunch of these flying oh goodness okay so a little bit of these gilded gems just to add a little more interest up here, a little more sparkle for the season. Hmm. Like that. And then, then it's time for ribbon. And one thing I did do, I got some tape, some regular old scotch tape. And I'm going to tape this to the bottom of the box just to make it stay on while I'm tying it but also when the recipient takes it off they won't lose it okay so this is our what's this ribbon called I love this ribbon shimmer ribbon gold shimmer ribbon all right so now along the edge uh oh did I cut it uneven let's see if I can make it work 
So I made the box big enough to hold three pretzels. I don't think I said that. But you could get away with just two in there as well. Or if you don't have the pretzels, you could just fill it up with whatever. You could use Christmas pencils, although I don't know, that probably isn't as much fun as candy. I know my kids would be like, pencils? No thanks. They're very ungrateful, my three. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Although that third one, whew, she is, she is 13. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right, there you go. There you go. How cute is that? A tall and skinny box. Do you guys like it? I thought it was really cute. Um, now let me show you the, my reject project, okay? Um, this also uses new paper. It's new um, celebration paper, I believe. It has daffodils on one side, but I wanted to use it for Christmas. So I came up with this and then it's a gift card holder. So you could put a gift card in there. I mean, it's okay, but it wasn't my favorite. But I also, what I did um, is I used, look how I did her, her uh, I paper pieced her little jacket or dress or whatever it is um, and did her, did that on very vanilla and colored the tree. So, you know, it's okay, I guess. Okay, <laughs> you guys, we're done. We made it. We're at the end of the 12 days. It was so much fun. Um, I hope you guys have had fun. I hope you have felt inspired. I hope you've used some of these ideas. Um, let's see, what else was I going to tell you? I don't know. I will. This is my last Facebook Live until 2022. I won't be live again until the first week of January. So everybody take a few weeks. Clean out your craft space. Clean out all your Christmas stuff when you're done and get ready for that spring catalog because there is some super cute stuff. Um, if you've ordered with me in the last year, hopefully you will be getting one. I Everybody who ordered from me should be getting one from Stampin' Up um, directly. I don't know. I don't think they've started arriving yet. Um, but if you need new catalogs, please email me. I will be happy to send them to you. All right. You guys have a very Merry Christmas and a very safe uh, break, safe New Year. And I will see you in a few weeks. Thanks so much, everybody. Now I gotta figure out how to fix my, uh, let's see if I can end this Facebook Live without totally messing it up. <laughs> you guys, bye.